and welcome back to my channel. My name is Johanna, and for those of you who are new here, welcome. And for those of you who are returning, welcome back. On my channel, I do planner and planner-related videos with the occasional new release video for items that I'll be listing in my Etsy shop. And if this is interesting to you, please consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that little notification bell so that you'll always be notified. And give me a thumbs up uh, to just let me know that this is content that you're interested in watching because all of our time is valuable and I do truly appreciate that you're spending this time with me. So this is my plan with me for April 1st through the 7th of April. <laughs> it's the first week of April and I don't uh, typically cover up the color scheme in my planner. So for the month of April, we're going to be doing this lavender type of spread, which is fine. Now the last few weeks um, here in my Big Happy Planner for my social media and business, I've been doing a 10 minute challenge and I'll probably uh, finish out April like this, but a couple of weeks ago, I actually went to a planner meetup. I didn't know anyone there, but I did see this. Well, actually, um, some ladies that I've been um, messaging back and forth on Instagram, uh, one of the ladies had mentioned that there was a planner meetup in our area. And so I was able to go, they, they weren't able to. And so it was the sharing the Aloha for planners crafty crop um, that Goldie and Jean do, and they're really lovely ladies. And I thought for this week, uh, for my plan with me, I would utilize some of the things that I got. So Goldie actually made these little nameplate uh, thingy so it just sits like this. I don't know if you can see that. Uh, so I thought I'd uh, incorporate some elements of this because I did pick up this punch although I think it's the wrong size for my big happy planner and then they were amazing. I didn't even realize it was a thing but they also gave um, a goodie bag and this isn't even everything full of stickers and embellishments and envelopes and things. And so I thought I'd try to incorporate some of that goodie bag um, items into my spread. So I don't know what it's gonna turn out like, but uh, yeah, I thought I could make it interesting and see how this turns out. Hi guys, welcome back. I had to get some uh, double-sided tape. I forgot to prep that before I started the, the filming. So uh, what I'm going to be doing is, or let me, let me backtrack. This is my Big Happy Planner that I use for social media and tracking uh, for, for my business. And I turn my vertical layout into this dashboard layout. And you can see that once I get all of this up. So I've used my Jelly Roll 8 Sakura pen in white to get rid of the lines. I do prefer this over the liquid whiteout because although the liquid whiteout seems to flow if you can get the pressure correct, um, it does leave a ridging and this one leaves nothing so you can't really feel anything. And on camera, I think it's even less noticeable, at least from the height. <laughs> I don't know where my words are um, than it is because I, I can see it very easily, but it doesn't bother me. And once I draw in the lines, which once again, I forgot to do, um, I think it just uh, recedes very easily. And I marked up my ruler and I couldn't tell you why because that's not the marking for this particular thing, but it must have been important enough for me to need because that's actually in blue Sharpie. <laughs> so I do measure out from either edge, two and five eighths. The middle uh, box isn't two and five eighths, but I think it's a good compromise between the two. Because of the dashboard layout, or because the dashboard layout is, you've got your week all on one side, and you've got to-dos and lists on the other side. Um, that's why I white out the lines in order to make either the big boxes on that side or to make the calendar on this side. And because I do most of my business type things, so 
Um, I do most of my filming on Sundays. I do most of my crafting for my listings for my shops on Saturdays. That's why, unlike the dashboard layout, my days of the week are all about the same, but smaller. And then my weekend is bigger because I do get more done for that since I do have a full-time job. And then on this side is where I track my Instagram and Facebook, my blog, my YouTube. This is an open section. On here, I've been tracking some things for Etsy as well as Pinterest. So that's how I do my layout on a weekly basis. So now that you know that, and I do have a video on, on how I, I create that and I'll link that below. What I'll do is, uh, the reason I have this sign out is because I do want to take this element and incorporate it. So this will actually be the first Hawaii type of spread that I'll be doing, even though I live in Hawaii. I've never done one that's inherently Hawaii themed. And let's see. I want to see if I can utilize some of this paper. Just as a decorative element. And as I mentioned in all of the kind of videos where I'm, I'm trying to do something versus just plan, um, it will seem way more awkward than it has to be only because I am trying to get this for filming purposes. That's cute. And if you hear a cat in the background, she's just, she's not happy because no one's paying attention to her. <laughs> Alrighty. Now this came in it and I thought that this was really cute and I'm actually going to put this here. And I'm not sure how the orange or the salmon -y color and the lavender will go, but we're, we're gonna do it. Oh no, this is glue dots, actual glue dots. So we'll just use this. Now I thought about using liquid glue, but for some reason I'm thinking it might make it bulky. And I do want to do things with my monthly overview. I actually haven't tackled that yet, but I don't want to make it any bulkier than I have to, just so that I can still utilize the other side of the page. And I don't have any, well, yeah, I don't have any other tape runners, um, which would have made this infinitely easier. So even though I mentioned I do put my Etsy and my Pinterest information there, I really wanted to use that because I'm not going to be using, utilizing anything else other than um, what was given either in the goodie bag or my nameplate from that planner uh, meetup. And they do have another one in April, but I believe it's Easter weekend. So I won't be able to go one because it's Easter weekend, but I'm also getting some spider veins taken out on my leg. I had postponed it until that weekend because Friday I have the day off already and then I only had to take Monday off. So it just minimizes how many days I need to be out of work. So I will be on bed rest only because I have to elevate my leg. So I won't be able to attend that one, but I believe they have another one, or I, th I believe they have one every month, or at least they, they try to. And they are just really nice ladies, so I am hoping I can go to another. And then I use wet glue there only because I don't think I could get um, a piece of the tear tape small enough. Yeah, I don't know how I feel about that. This was a little envelope I believe Goldie had made with a little um, card in it. So I think I'll actually incorporate down here and it has both the, the lavender and the salmon -y orange color. So I think that works well. And I think Happy Planner has something like this, or maybe it has like a flip card. 
I don't know. I don't have access to those things here. So all of it is things I've seen either on YouTube or Instagram or Facebook. But I thought this would be a nice little element. Again, it will make it thicker, so I will need to watch in upcoming weeks um, if I'm writing with my pages still in the book, uh, just to factor in that. And so that's super cute, and I think I might put a sticker there. Um, and again, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about these, but we'll just put these off to the side. I do like this Aloha, and it's laminated. You probably can see the glare. And, I mean, I don't want to take away... Oh, no, that, that might work right there. Yeah, we'll do that. Because I don't want to cut it in half, because, I don't know, somehow that seems wrong. And again, I am making this spread quite bulky. But I think so long as I either take the pages off or just remember that it might make writing on the other side a little bit difficult, I think I'll be okay. But I really did want to use these elements. And the thing about the tear tape is it's very sticky, works wonders, but you got to deal with that little paper backing. So. Let's do that there. Okay, that's cute. Now I don't know that the stickers that came with will match, but we'll see. And some of them Goldie did make, because she used to have a sticker shop on Etsy. I checked and I don't think she still has one, but I will link her Facebook page um, below. And I think during the meeting she said she is considering opening it up again. So uh, definitely be on the lookout for that. Um, but I think some of these were just stickers she had in her stash. Um, so that, that color scheme won't work. I do like the little cloud with the cup. The little piggies are cute. Um, I think we can use some of this. I like that there. And the colors work. Chick Blossom prints. Again, I don't know if there's Etsy shops like this or, or, or not, um, but hopefully you can see. Well, this one seems to have, I just, I don't know if it's still open. So there's that. This one's really cute, but doesn't really fit our color scheme. We'll keep the date dots, and that's what her Etsy shop was called. So you'll, you'll want to take note of that. I'm assuming if she reopens, it'll be the same uh, name. And she has some really cute St. Patrick's Day. Um stickers and these cupcake date headers although it doesn't quite fit with our color scheme I really like this pocket here um, but again it doesn't really go with our color scheme here is some butterfly I think we could use those for the days of the week so we'll put that down some washi and I love the washi sample because I don't know if you can see it because it is in a bag but um, I, I'm assuming she has a Cricut or a silhouette or something where she was able to make the shape she was able to put this because that I think it's printed on the paper and then because it's laminated she can um, put the washi around it and it makes a really cute washi carrier so I think that's really cute and here's one that's very vivid, very purpley blue from Megaroni Designs. Again, not sure if it's still a shop that's open. Uh, this is, we might incorporate this. It's not quite the color scheme, but it is definitely very Hawaii based. So we might just add some more colors. I really like this one. Um, oh, I think these, Oh, these are all separate headers. That's really cute. I just love the whole mermaid coloring of this, uh, but this we might um, 
use at another time. Here's another one that I think is St. Patrick's themed. It's really nice. And as the other one, this one is individual headers. And it looks sparkly, but it's just printed on the paper, so there is no glitter, which is awesome. And then I love the coloring of this. This is from Suzy Stickers. Because um, you don't see a lot of brown. I think uh, Christy from Christy's Plans had mentioned that in a comment on one of my videos. That there's lots of colors in the Happy Planner or in just stickers in general. But there's not a lot of browns. So I might utilize this for um, a spread that maybe will just be brown or maybe brown and red. So I think we're going to go with these here. And see what we get. Let's put the days of the week down. And as always, I'm hoping this is in frame. Monday. And they stick, I mean, they're good stickiness. If you saw last week's video, the Bloom Carpe Diem sticker book that I was using did, it was sticky, I mean it definitely was still a sticker, but um, it lifted rather easily. So as I mentioned, I wasn't sure if it was old because the fitness sticker book was very sticky, more so than the Bloom one, or if that's just how it is. And if you haven't already um, entered my giveaway for my March sticker review, definitely check out that video. I will link it below. It is still open and it will still be open um, when this video is loaded. So that's pretty. And I don't buy kits from, from Etsy. So I like the ability to use some of these things um, and hopefully I can get a pretty spread out of it because <laughs> also that is not always a thing. So that's cute. We'll put that to the side. Uh, we'll use some of these date dots. Again, it is at the top, but since we have it, we might as well use it. And I would love to have either a Silhouette or Cricut just to be able to make my own stickers and just things for my shop, but I, I literally do not have any space for it. So even though I'd like it, um, I just, I'd w I would get a printer before I would get one of those machines. And seven. And I think that's how that's supposed to work. That's why that space is there. <laughs> okay, and let's see. So here, because this is where I do um, track my YouTube, we're going to put that there. For my purposes, I don't, I don't really need to mark what the box is for because I know what the box is for. Um, but I just like the continue, continuity, continuity. <laughs> Words are hard. Okay, so let's put this glitter sticker up here. And as I mentioned, and I say this all the time, as I've mentioned and will mention, um, I will be doing a lot more activity with my blog because, and it's going to sound silly, but I recently discovered something that I signed up for, <laughs> the cost. So I didn't realize that's how much it was. I don't know why I didn't realize that. But yeah, so you're going to see a lot more content on my blog if just so I get my money's worth because after doing upgrades on this and upgrades on that, um, yeah, I paid $300. Uh, yeah, that 
$300. <laughs> but as I mentioned at the end of the video um, that I did last week, I did put it on a credit card, so it's not like it's real money. <laughs> so Instagram and Facebook will go up here. And I will need to get my stencil so that I can do my lines. I just wanted to place down my stickers. And I'll use this little ghosty thing here. Again, I don't know if this is in frame or not, and I apologize if it isn't. And we'll do Etsy. There. And I don't think we'll be able to use. Oh no, let's do this little ghosty cloud thing here. And this is where I'll do my weekly stats. And again, that's the name of the Etsy shop. I don't know if it's open, if it's still open, I'm not sure. Um, but definitely check it out and see. Um, if it is, if you're interested. And I like this little panda. So we'll put her there. It says Coffee Monday, so I'm pretty sure. Well, and I have coffee every day, so that definitely will work. The me time, not so much, but the weekend, I think we can incorporate. I love the target run. I didn't, I just saw that. Um, I'd love to go, actually I need to go to target. I just, logistically, that's harder for me to get to because I need to get a ride there. Um, when I go to Walmart, there is one that I can get to on my way to work. So, I don't know that I'm expecting any happy mail this week. So I'll hold on to that. We've got these. And then we've got this one here. I was thinking about utilizing this, but I mean, can you see if you're right on it? And as I've mentioned, <laughs> you're probably tired of hearing that particular phrase, but um, I was contacted by Amazon that my channel wasn't big enough um, in order to be one of, considered one of their Amazon affiliates. So the links that you see down below and this stencil, which is part of the 26 pack, um, is one of the items listed. Uh, it is not an affiliate link, and until I do get approved for it, I will um, always mention it in the description box, but if I remember, I'll also mention it in the video as well. But I did keep, um, I did check, and all of the shortened links do still work. Um, it is not affiliate, so you, know, you don't have to worry about that, but it does take up less space um, web link wise um, because you are able to get a shortened version of the link uh, right now for anything that I do link um, it's just basically the website address and so it can be quite lengthy um, so if you were wondering why some of them are the short ones or some and some of them are long that's why uh, once my channel grows a little bit larger, and I think they had suggested 500 subscribers, then I will reapply if just to get the short links on my page. And we'll put some things for the blog up here. We'll put checklist for Instagram and Facebook. There's five bullets, so we'll just add two more. And I 
haven't, I'm really bad at it, but um, you can clean this with either a makeup wipe or some Windex. Um, it's just, I, I never get around to it. And then we'll use this here. And I love using this stencil just because I know it will fit in the box and I don't have to worry about bringing out the ruler and spacing and all of that. Okay, actually let's put some bullets for the week. Again, this might seem just way more awkward than it needs to be. I'm trying to line them up. It doesn't look bad. Just not a ringing endorsement. <laughs> and like I said, next week, and probably for the conceivable future, I will go back to the 10 minute challenge. I always take more than the 10 minutes, but it does really focus me on the decorating aspect. And it also makes a video much shorter than like this one will be. But I did want to see if I could utilize some of my awesome goodies that I was given during that planner meetup. Um, and I'll just have to remember uh, that I have them because I think that's part of the problem is um, I, I was just going through something else and I saw them and that's what made me thought of utilizing them for this week. Now it's bothering me that that's an empty white space. Um, and I don't know that I can find anything in any of these that fits our color scheme. Yeah. I know that that little bit shouldn't make a difference, but it absolutely does. <laughs> okay, and I think with the exception of that flower, although I'm gonna use it cause it's super cute and I know that Goldie made it, um, I think this goes rather well. Again, my headers don't match and that's okay. They're sort of in the same color scheme and it might be hard for future weeks this month to match up to this lilac-y color, but I don't want to cover it up because I'm not really good with the washi and yeah, that's just extra steps. Uh, but otherwise, I think this looks really good. Yeah, thank you so much, Goldie and Jean, for just the goodies and putting together these planner meetups. And I definitely I'll look forward to some of the ones in the future. And this is my spread for Monday the 1st through the 7th. Again, next week we'll go back to our 10-minute challenge. And as always, aloha.